afternoon. We have just arrived at destination number two. So we are now in Welligama and the hotel we're staying in is called Era Elia, which we just found out from our taxi driver means sunshine. Yeah, sunshine. Sunshine. Sunlight. Sunshine. Sunlight, sunshine. So yeah, I mean, I've never stayed. I've stayed in some places in my time, but this is like so cool. Like something really random and different. Um, it's literally like its own bungalow. Um, we just did the walk down with the guys. So let me show you the room before we mess it up again. And like, I mean, this is our front porch. Porch view. Like a hot with me. Glass bottles, yes, for the win. Tell me everything about you. Cause I really wanna know. And this is down into the bathroom. I give you the moon and my all is yours. Don't hesitate, just give me your all. Just give me your all. So let's fly. Not a bad view, are you having a way, eh? Not a bad view at all. Yeah, I think. I think we're going to be okay here for a couple of days. So yeah, we're um, gonna check the menu, check the pool, check the beach, go and explore a bit. on our porch and the man has just delivered our dinner so we decided to go for what was it red a red fish <laughs> can't remember what it's called loads of prawns and some cuttlefish some salad some garlic rice but i thought i'd show you because it looks insane if you like fish looks great if you don't like fish maybe skip for five seconds it's a red snapper he just came back and told me right check this out salad mm, saffron rice is it are you happy with this oh yeah Trust my senses, catch me if I fall, so then we 
Hello. Oh, no, I'm starting to look a bit pink now. I thought I'd let you know how our day's been. So we made some friends today. I overheard at breakfast this morning um, that they were looking to go on a boat trip and we are going on a boat trip tomorrow to go wow watching. So I just told them about our trip and they said that they'd like to join us. So pretty much we've just spent the whole day with them, which has been great. So we left the hotel about lunchtime and we went towards Welligamma itself and had a bite to eat at a little restaurant called Ceylon Sliders, which was really good. If you're in the area, I would recommend going there. They do like burgers and bowls and apparently their evening menu is really good as well. Our, our new friends ate there the night before. So yeah, really good. Um, we had a few drinks there, which was really good. And then we got, well, we went in our first tuk-tuk of the trip to get there and back. So that was fun. Um, yeah, and then we've just not, well, I say not long been back. Uh, just been chilling really this afternoon, quite tired, didn't sleep very well last night. So yeah, we are going on our boat trip tomorrow. We've just ordered some dinner, which should be here any minute. Um, we have to be on the boat for 6.15 a.m. tomorrow. So that should be fun. Um, and then we're out from like quarter past six till about half one on a catamaran and there's going to be six people on there so it's going to be a really small group of us yeah it should be a really good day so yeah keep watching for that <laughs> basic It is boat trip day. It is 20 to 6 a.m. And we're just getting ready to leave for the boat. So we're just literally like packing some cream and everything else before we, we have to scoot off for the taxi to get down to the boat. So it should be a really good day. Let's hope we can see some whales. Yay! managed to see some whales which is absolutely 
incredible. Um, we're just chilling out. There's only six people on our catamaran today, which is great, plus the staff. We had a great breakfast, which was, again, really nice. And we've just been, we saw probably, how many miles do you think? 12. 12, that's amazing. Separate times, and like, you see them come up and blow the, the uh, blowhole, their air out, and then see the tail at the end, which is really cool. Um, we're just on our way to see if we can find any dolphins now, which is going to be fun. And then after the dolphins, I think we're going to go somewhere a little bit quieter so we can get in the water ourselves, have a bit of paddleboard, a bit of a swim, a bit of a snorkel. It has been a good morning so far. Worth the early get up for sure. Got that soul.
time. Breakfast. just having the last 15 minutes before we check out of here at Elia which is our place we stayed at in Welligama. we didn't actually do like a review of like Hikadua when we stayed there last so let's just rewind Hikadua <laughs> I absolutely loved it there um, the vibe was really cool they had you, you will have seen on the videos that there would have been like one sec. I'm going to sit next to you, mate. So you can be involved in this video. Yeah, Don't put your arm there then. Oh. So, what did you think of Hikadua? Yeah, I really liked it. I thought, um, I thought it was going to be more. Well, busier than what it was, and coming down here, you realise it was actually pretty quiet. But yeah. all the reviews online say it's like party town, and you can see how it could be. But as long as you don't stay on like the main strip, unless that's what you like. Yeah, um, we stayed a little bit south of Hikadira, like I'm talking a mile, if that, probably less than a mile south of Hikadira. Um, but it was still like loads of bars and restaurants right outside our hotel on a, on a beautiful beach yeah. um, so like we didn't get a tuk-tuk anywhere when no. we were in um, Hikadu we just walked because it was so accessible whereas here in Welligama we actually haven't really been into Welligama we've been like in on a tuk-tuk we've stayed here this hotel um, you have breakfast here and they also like provide dinner but you have it on like your little terrace your decking area and you're going off Hikadua strand here now. Oh, do you want to talk about Hikadua some more? No, 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 I just didn't know whether this was specifically Hikadua. No. Oh, okay, cool. We're just talking. <laughs> we're just, I thought we were just this talking. This is a terrible angle for me, everyone. I do have chin. I can't really tell. That's why I grew a beard. Um, so, yeah, we came to Welligama, which took about an hour from Hikadua to get here. Um, which was cool because we got to drive through places like Gaul and Una Watuna, which is where we go back to next. So essentially, we've kind of come down the coast to like the bottom, and now we're like heading back up before we go back to the airport. On we've still got a week, yeah, one week left. We're halfway through now, so yeah, um, we've been eating some really good food while we've been here. I've not had a bad meal. No. Really, I mean, we went to like a cheap beach shack yesterday in Marisa, um, and that was probably the least favourite meal we've had. Yeah. But everything else has been like fantastic everywhere we've been. Would you say? Yeah, definitely. Like you say, yesterday was probably the worst, um, and that was only because we went a bit basic, didn't we? We went for pizza, which is. The pizza was all right. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. You know, it did it filled the little gap I had in my stomach. Um, so yeah, Marissa was cool, that was busy, that was like a really busy part because we'd been out yesterday on the way watching boat trip which went from Marissa Harbour um, and while we were in Marissa we thought why not just check out the beach and stuff while we're there, um, so we did 
and then we managed to get a tuk-tuk back as well and that took only about 15-20 minutes from where we're staying um, and we are slightly past Welligamma back this way from in if Marissa's one way and Welligamma's the other way we're past you have to go past Welligamma to get here Marissa and Welligamma are the same way no I know but coming back from Marissa Got you. you have to come through Welligamma to get back to our hotel yeah yeah um, and we went back to a restaurant that we really enjoyed the other day called Ceylon Sliders last night for food. We sat on the rooftop, we saw some bats, we had great food, some great cocktails. Came back and was in bed by nine o'clock. It was fantastic. It was great. I love that bar. It was so cool. Yeah, it was cool. It's really edgy here. Like, if you, they, they're really on trend with their food. You don't have to come here and eat curry every day if you don't want to. Um, but equally if you want to then the options there but the places do support like really nice salads and stuff they've got sushi bowls they've got they do really great fish burgers here are insanely good yeah just everything's been great so far they do food good here yeah they do food great here and I have this morning been for a massage as well um, it was literally when I saw it in the menu the hotel we're standing at at the moment has everything in dollars which makes things a little bit more expensive but when I saw the massage menu I mean I've had massages pretty much everywhere we've ever been and I thought it was pretty cheap it was $50 for a 60 minute full body massage which works out to be what about 40 quid yeah my conversion rates aren't great but it's, I know it's roughly like, maybe like 38 38 quid it's cheap people are going to be laughing at this really cheap or we'll figure out the real maths and I post it at the bottom um, but yeah so you have a guess then exactly what I think $50 is I'm going to stick with 38. Mm. 38.50. 38.50 is probably a great shot. I'll go 36.75. We can see how much fun we have on our holidays. <laughs> um, yeah, so my massage was really good. Um, we've literally probably got to go and check out now. We're sitting here like lounging by the pool and the beach. Um, but our bags are packed, so we've just got to jump in that car when it gets here. So yeah, we will see you in our next destination, which is Unawatuna. Woohoo! And it's an eco lodge, so I don't really know what that means, other than the fact that it's all vegetarian. We'll see!